Hello and welcome back to Roll Slow Gaming and our Let's Play series here of Airport CEO. We're currently, well, quite a bit in into our Let's Play series. I think this is the 15th episode or something like that, and we have played it slow like we always do here on the channel Roll Slow Gaming and uh, basically building our airport up slowly but surely. We have added in fuel services and uh, remote stands and everything. I think pretty much we have uh, Im implemented quite a lot of stuff here, uh, but apparently we have uh, Yeah, exactly catering and cleaning is not available yet or coming soon as well as the icing So this is something that uh, is planned uh, From the developers. So basically we have added in what are what we can do here on the turnaround service we haven't bothered with uh, uh, the Avgas fuel for general aviation and we have not done baggage handling and that is something we will wait a little bit more to do and uh, at the moment we'll fix our troubles that we have with uh, the remote stands and then we'll be looking to do uh, medium flights finally or medium stands expanding towards this area uh, but the problem is though we'll need a lot of cash we'll maybe sooner or later probably sooner need to unlock this type uh, but as you see it costs 750k uh, so that can be a little bit of trouble for sure and we are a little bit in depth at the moment uh, as well and that is something we'll change in this episode and start expanding so before we get into the episode all too much we'll let the game run here uh, at the same time as we say this if you like the content just let me know by hitting that like button so I know that you like the content that we bring to you here and also do comment about how you think we are doing if we are doing something wrong if you think we should be playing some other game or plans that we are doing here if you have better suggestion or anything I'll read everything in the comment and the most positive and informative comment on each episode will get pinned just you know and lastly do subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the new content that we bring to you daily here at Roslo Gaming. So with that said, our airport here is getting pretty busy here in the early hours. And uh, yeah, I think we should be pretty much trouble free here on this day. Um, we'll add in one more bus stop here before we continue uh, with expanding towards this area. And actually, I think we'll be needing to planning the taxiways and stuff like that first uh, to see how much space we have left after that. And we do have a little bit of a trouble here uh, with uh, the service vehicles. And actually, we saw here that they are now uh, overtaking a little bit, which is very good as well. which should sort the problem even more with the ramp agents and let's check then why are MP201 late? It's due to boarding so we still have the trouble here with the bus as I said and I uh, don't know if we have too few buses I don't really think that's the case but it might be uh, so we'll delay that flight. Let's hope this is MP. No, it's not. Where is MP? Let's see here. Here is MP. So I think, uh, yeah, it got uh, boarded there. So yeah, the trouble is with the buses here, definitely. Uh, we surely have, uh, shortly have enough cash to to fix that so we'll add in one more bus stop here and we'll uh, try to uh, place these guys out a little bit more so to say so we'll delay that one as well for one hour so we'll delay that one as well So 
it's like you can see if we have any flight no so it doesn't seem like this one is getting any passengers so we'll just send that one away and now we actually have some cash here so let's try and get this fixed as good as we can so we'll have another airside shuttle bus stop here get up and we'll try to move a few of these um, check-in desks to this one so we'll try to have I believe we have uh, seven remote stands that we are using or actually we are using six I believe one two three four five six seven yeah we're using six so we should have maximum two check-in desk per remote stand bus stop and I think that will help a lot So we'll see here, this one is connected to there, and that one as well, and both have flights there unfortunately, so we'll choose this one to there. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8 with that one I believe, yeah, 8 possible stands there and we are not using everyone and so uh, we'll delay that flight for now and there's no stand connected to that one so we'll not change that out So we have no warning here, and this should be warning but isn't, and I guess that's due to uh, the trouble with the bus stops, so to say. So this opens at 1621, so this is actually, uh, should be pretty alright. So we'll put that one to there as well. So we'll choose this one to there. So we have two in the middle which should be all right there. We have one to each of those. We have two to the right, three to the right and two to the left. So this should be all right. So let's see if that works better, uh, we'll not delay any flights here at the moment. And with that sorted I think we'll start with the taxiway going past here, uh, which we are planning to do. So we'll still have, uh, not the runaway, we want the taxiway. I'll actually start with, uh, we'll need to upgrade this as well, so we'll actually do a concrete taxiway and we'll have to upgrade this here as well. And I 
think it's five wide, so I'll do all the way up to the top here. I will do five wide here, and uh, the funds is uh, yeah. We are going to need a lot of cash to do this right, but uh, we are going to try to do it slowly but surely here. I will do it on the way down to here a little bit, and then after that. Uh, we'll put in the medium stand. I think think thing <laughs> I think things are working pretty all right here with the remote stands, and I think this helped us quite a bit. Uh, there doesn't seem to be uh, a, as much trouble here at the moment as it is otherwise. And let's see here they seems that they can't exit properly from there so we'll add, uh, give them a large, large door here to exit from that uh, bus stop so to say. Yeah, they can't leave a secure zone. Um, let's see, yeah, secure zone is on the way there so uh, once we get the Okay, and let's see here. This doesn't seem to be working either. No, not the case. So we'll get our builder in here as soon as possible and fix this. Uh, unfortunately, they are choosing to do that first, uh, which is all right, I guess. So we'll have to not delay any flights and we'll have to wait for the door to come in before we continue on building our uh, taxiway. And it's a little bit strange that they can't exit to another of these uh, these guys. Uh, that's what I thought they would be able to do. Uh, and because of that, these are placed a little bit bad, I guess, as well. We should have two over here and two to this one, I guess, and uh, the rest to this guy. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So we actually have quite a few constructors here, it looks like. Um, still not going <laughs> fast enough for what we'd like. So we could let these guys out though. Uh, so we'll see how it works out. Uh, but uh, they will, <laughs> will be free eventually, I guess, to leave the airport. Uh, hopefully before the next day starts. And here we can check our little staff room with pretty much all our uh, ramp agents sitting and are relaxing. And for some reason we have a lot of staff also sitting over here. Not quite sure why, but uh, we'll not really uh, think too much about that. We'll just hope that um, our contractors can get in this door as soon as possible. So it shouldn't be too many times left here and hopefully they can fix this as I said before the upcoming day. I think we will be a little bit short though on time and I don't really want to call in all the contractors and then call them back. I think we need one more turn back and forth. So yeah, I think, yeah, definitely that uh, on the second run, those that just left we will be able to get in the door. And uh, <laughs> so our passengers here can leave the airport.
I'm not see, I think we can actually not assign any of these vehicles to that stand. Uh, or parking lot. So we'll just assign the parking lot here. So they will go from uh, uh, the vehicle depot instead. And we'll assign this to small parking lot one and this bus as well. So we'll have all the buses assigned to this parking lot. get that fixed now the question is why can't you leave so you can't leave because this is unsecure yeah so that fixed everything and we'll just add in some floor here and hopefully that works itself out for the upcoming flights and for boarding and deboarding, I will continue run on high speed here and will continue to do some taxiway foundation here. And we can do until there. And as I said, we will go all the way out here uh, just to leave room for uh, the service road and uh, the medium stands. Uh, we can actually take a little look here on the medium stand. I, I think they will, will do them in asphalt. So basically we need to do them here if we would not extend our terminal and that we will do. We will give the terminal as much expansion as possible so that's why we will take our uh, taxiway as far over here as possible. So let's see, we can add in a little bit more. Or we could. So I think one row is uh, 6k. Yeah, one row is now. One row is 2k. So we can add in like so. And actually, I think we have been. Yeah. We are definitely missing some flights here, so we need to do some flight planning here for tomorrow. Or let's see here. So we are at Sunday. Uh, we can't really add in. We have a pretty busy afternoon here, uh, but uh, not much else. So we'll do here for uh, Monday. I will do the small stands first. Just add in everything as tight as possible for the small stands. So we have CNM, let's do forest air down. Q swings. Should be able to fit one more in. No, unfortunately not. So we'll adding them in on the remote stands. Still letting uh, uh, remote stand six be empty for now. Uh, we'll have them in like so. I will do maple here as well. I we can have in one more stand our flight on uh, stand four. in with a couple of more flights as well so two flights there and then we should have for stand seven we'll do a little bit more of uh, between what we already have at least try to have between and skyfly aren't offering anything skylink 
have it like so and we'll have this last one over here so that's all right for Tuesday we can do the planning as well if they have a region yeah they have so let's in, add in another Aurora flight there and let's see no CLM for us there we can add in a few here uh, so this is for our regular stand, we will do it tight and nice. So we get in one more flight there and we'll have goose wings maybe, no. So it will be a Logan Air flight here. Uh, let's see here, we got the hole, we got the hole here. So we'll add in a maple flight and I can't be bothered with that. Uh, we'll see. I guess I'll have to bother with Norland there. I will do 978 and you can go here. And that looks alright, so we're not missing any money that we badly need. We got no delays here in the afternoon and uh, I understand the reason why. I don't understand why our service cars still are standing there though, but uh, yeah, I guess it's the way it is. So we'll continue with the taxiway here. We've got pretty much actually, so we'll have uh, one more row we can do that with. And we'll see here if we can actually fast forward. Uh, yeah, we can. It was a while ago we actually could do that and uh, things worked out that smooth for us and uh, we'll see if that continues to be the case here in this episode waiting on cash waiting on our, on our first flights to arrive uh, we also need to do some runway upgrades here later and uh, we'll do the runway to asphalt I think and we'll do the stands in asphalt as well and the uh, the taxiway and everything will be concrete And uh, for the taxiway here, you uh, unfortunately can't upgrade the taxiway by just clicking on it. So you have to relay the taxiway, so we'll have to do that over this as well. Sorry for that, if you heard it. A little bit uh, of noise, you could say. So, looking pretty good at the moment. We'll take a look here at the... Let's actually zoom out a little bit so we can see the whole progress of what we're trying to do. So this runway is certainly starting to look a little bit small also and certainly so 600 meters only is uh, really nothing on a runway. And I will for sure expand it uh, north at least. Uh, sooner or later um, but we'll see here uh, if we re uh, get any trouble when we try to enable medium flights and we'll see if we have to extend the runway or something like that you can check the uh, upgrade here it costs 60k to upgrade it to asphalt so that is something we'll do after we have finished this uh, taxiway here and we'll, we will also be needing to upgrade this taxiway also so uh, that's a little bit unfortunate but uh, that's how it is uh, 
and things seem to be running a little bit more smoothly here uh, but we still got delays here uh, so we'll delay it for one hour for now and see if we get a delay on it again And we are in the green once again, so let's uh, do here. They also have a uh, runaway exit like this uh, that are well in in uh, in a 45 degree angle. So in an angle really is what I were looking to say. Uh, we will do the taxiway here. We can't do more than one block so we'll do one block then we'll do five so that's five five blocks um, all the way down as long as we can go which is to there and uh, we'll do that a little bit longer and then we'll place in uh, uh, our first medium stand and then we'll try to well fix the runway and everything and put everything together so we're getting there at the moment just taking a little bit of time here but uh, time is something we do have a lot of here in this channel and this series so we'll re delay this flight one hour as well and hope that it works out for us uh, we'll see here so we pretty much can do all the way here so we match up with our current terminal so I don't remember which one was late I believe it might have been this one so waiting on boarding yeah waiting on boarding Skylink, no, we'll not wait for it. Uh, something was bugged here, I believe. Uh, it seems to be working a lot better though than before. Uh, so that's nice at least. And it's nice to see all this uh, action going on. So everything is simulated and every person and every pass and everything. And I think it's overall working pretty darn nice. And it's just nice to look at, look at and everything. And uh, yeah, the way everything works is actually really beautiful, I think, and a beautiful game. And uh, if you haven't noticed, I do enjoy this game very much. I do highly recommend it. Uh, there is, uh, of course, things to note since it's early access and only in alpha. Uh, so, of course, things are a little bit rough around the edges sometimes, uh, but not really the case always. So flight a little bit late but just saw there and the bus came pretty much once it said it was going to be a little bit late so uh, not too that too bad and I think we want to try to add in a medium size stand here actually that cost 150k So I don't think we will be able to afford it uh, in, in this episode, unfortunately, but I think we'll do it here or maybe actually a little bit higher. So maybe like, like yeah, like something like this. Uh, we'll have, uh, yeah, I think we'll match it up here with service road. So like so is where we place it. I think it's a pretty good option here for us. Uh, that will be in the next episode since we don't have the cash. So we'll continue to prepare for uh, medium stands in next episode. Because actually this is, uh, I think it's a pretty good way to end our, this episode as well. 
uh, here, uh, working our way towards the medium stance. So if you have enjoyed the content here, do please smash that like button so I know that you like the content. And also if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so, so you don't miss out on any of the new content that we bring to you daily here at Raw Slow Gaming. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.